Okay, YouTube subscribers, I am going to offer you a free auto check. Yes, you heard right. Um, just watch this video, and at the end of the video, I will explain to you how you can get a free auto check. Um, so what an auto check is, it's, you, I'm sure you've heard the name Carfax Auto Check. What it is, it will run the VIN number uh, of your vehicle or vehicle that you're asking in purchasing, and it will give you the history of the vehicle. Um, such as the car ever been wrecked, has the car been flooded, stolen. Um, a lot of times it'll show like when it goes to the dealer for repairs. Um, it could go to a tire shop, get new tires installed, brakes, whatever. Um, it'll let you know how many owners of the vehicle. There's been where the vehicle's been located throughout its life, you know, like what state it's been in, um, that kind of thing. So since my channel is dedicated to cars and automotive repairs, this is something I want to offer to my subscribers um, here on YouTube. So what I'll need from you is you'll need to, in the comments below, send me your VIN number of your vehicle and also your email address. And from that point, I can look up your vehicle for you. For example, I just just a random car that I picked. It's going to come back looking like this. This vehicle from this VIN number comes back as a 2004 Acura TL. The motor is a 3.2 liter and it has navigation. Uh, the vehicle is 18 years old. It's been, uh, the vehicle was assembled in the United States. It's able to tell you that. It'll also rate your vehicle on a scale of like below average, above average. This vehicle just means it's probably gone to the dealer for repairs. Um, it's been well taken care of, it's not been in accidents, it's not been flooded, it's not been stolen. That's why it just scores a 47 and is above average. Um, over here it's just a quick little report saying nothing major, no accidents, no uh, other title or specific event. That just means like when the car gets titled or you, know, you take it to the you know, license bureau, get registration taken. Um, this does have some service information from a dealer on here. There's no recalls. There's no odometer problems. And it does show the last time this odometer was reported it has 183,000 miles. So if you were, you know, someone told you the car only has 100,000 miles, you'd say, well, somebody's lying because at one point it had 183,000 miles. This is another service that I've noticed people like to do. Uh, say you go to a junkyard and you're going to buy a used motor or a used transmission. And the junkyard tells you, oh, the car only had 60,000 miles. Well, if you come back to here and you run the VIN number, it can show you the car actually had 200,000 miles because junkyards aren't the most honest people in the world and they'll tell you less miles just to get more money for a motor or a transmission that they might be trying to sell. But this is a good way to catch them. You know, like I said, if you're buying a used motor or used transmission from a junkyard, you can always run a, the, the Carfax or the auto check on that VIN number and it'll tell you more about that actual vehicle. Um, we'll scroll down here. Owner history. Previous owners. There was a 2004 as the first owner, 07, 08. Looks like from 08 to 2021. And then 2022 is the newest owner. Total of five owners have been reported on this vehicle. Each time, Ohio, 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 and Ohio. So it's been in Ohio its whole life. Uh, some people might lie or tell you, oh, the car's from Florida, or it's never been in snow, or that, you know, for an example, this will just tell you where the car's been its entire life. Um, at one point, the obviously the first owner had leased the vehicle, which is not a big deal. It's just when it's a luxury vehicle, like an Acura TL, they, they're all expensive when they're first sold, so a lot of people will lease them. That's a normal thing to see. Um, nothing reported here as in, you know, fire, hail, flood, junk, uh, like a lemon law, a salvage title, rebuilt title, odometer problems or discrepancies. No problems have been reported here. Uh, insurance, no reports here. Uh, obviously at one time the car had a loan or a lien on the vehicle, which is completely normal. A lot of people have to have loans on vehicles. They can't afford to pay cash for them. Um, this just shows you what year and how many miles are on the car and everything looks normal. You know, the first two years I only had 28,000 miles. The next couple of years, uh, well, here from December to January, I only had a, uh, 
a couple hundred miles or hundred miles or so. Uh, then the next person that bought the vehicle drove it, you know, 32,000 miles, whatever. Um, but anyways, it just breaks it down for you. And if you were to see a number like, you know, hey, the car had 91,000 miles and the next time it reported only had 50,000 miles, that would mean someone rolled back the odometer or an odometer discrepancy, but everything on this car looks completely normal. And sometimes it just breaks it down for repairs have been done to the vehicle. Uh, the battery was replaced in 2010. Um, I just know this dealer, Columbia Hyundai, it's also an Acura dealer in the same exact location. So it wasn't going to a Hyundai dealer, it was going to the Acura dealer. But um, it just shows you it was serviced, serviced, you know, the times it was going to the dealership. Here's another dealer service, independent auto repair, wheels or tires. This just means they put new tires on the vehicle. Um, but it just breaks it down, your registration, when the titles switched hands, um, you know, you got the date, you got the location of where it's at. Um, a lot of them will have the mileage added here as well. I mean, you can see the car was in Dayton, Ohio, and here it was in Columbus, Dayton, Cincinnati, Monroe, Cincinnati, Franklin, Indian, it just it just breaks it down for you. So, you know, you can see a red flag if a person, a lot of times people might say, this is a one owner vehicle. Well, if you run the, the uh, auto check, it'll show you how many people actually own the vehicle. A lot of times people don't tell the truth when they say that kind of stuff. So anyways, uh, this is just a quick breakdown of what it looks like. And so how I'm going to do this is, like I said, I'm an auto, I'm an automotive person. And I want to offer this auto check free to my subscribers. And all that I need you to do is just leave a comment below your VIN number and your email address. I'm going to start out by picking one random subscriber per week. And at that point, I will then email you the auto check. Um, if this picks up and catches on and it becomes very popular, I might decide to do this once a day and just pick a random subscriber once a day and give a free auto check. So I appreciate all my subscribers on my channel, and this is a service that I want to offer you. So all you need to do is like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Um, also, if you just want to share this with your friends, family members, um, whatever it may be. But I appreciate you guys watching and being my subscribers.